Dear uh, colleagues and friends, I'm very pleased and indeed honored in my own name and in the name of the MFA Bezalel to welcome Jonathan Mesa to the Tel Aviv Museum for what promises to be a very eventful evening. Firstly, and before we give the floor over to our guest, allow me to thank very warmly the Tel Aviv Museum of Art for their gracious and elegant hospitality here this evening. And most particularly, its director, Susan Landau, as well as curator, Ellen Ginton, Dudi Peleg and Dana Avta, and uh, as well, Dana Nachman from Bezalel, with whom we have worked to coordinate this meeting tonight. Without their help, this evening would not have been as successful as it is. And for their work and patience, their dedication and generosity, allow me to express my utmost gratitude for all these fine persons with whom work was never truly work, but more like a preparation of an important undertaking, one which will have, I strongly believe, a lasting effect on all of us who are about to witness it. I would wish also to thank Doris Mampe for her diligence and delicate touch in the pre preparation of this evening. Of course, I would like to thank Brigitte Messe and Jan Bauer for their ongoing support and assistance along the way. Also, let me thank very warm-heartedly Naomi Lev, curator and art critic, who was in truth the architect of this evening. Today, I can honestly say that with Naomi Lev, we are building a strong collaboration which started two years ago with Vito Acconci and which is pursued this evening with Jonathan Mese. I am confident we will coordinate many more important events, a perspective I am looking forward to bring forth in the coming years. I would wish to say, and in order to open this evening, a few words about our guest, Jonathan Mese. Firstly, I would like to thank him very profoundly for his courage. Courage which is embodied in his appearance this evening and which will be marked in the first instance by a dialogue with Naomi Lev, a dialogue to which he comes, so to say, entirely exposed and for which no prior determination was given in advance. Then this dialogue will be followed by a performative monologue without any predetermined scenario and which will be freely deployed around an unannounced idea that Jonathan Messe has given himself as a guideline, or shall we say more precisely, has chosen and requested him. Jonathan Messe's installations and expositions rest on the very idea of an extreme autonomy of art. This autonomy of art is claimed for by Messe in regards to the non-autonomy of all other spheres of human endeavor, and thus of ideology and by consequence of the political. He explores these spheres in a hard-hitting and bluntly humorous way, revealing thus how the political and the ideological are necessarily and inescapably a turning away, that is a denial or a repudiation of life and the multiple and unforeseeable forces traversing life. It is here that we can also speak of Jonathan Messe's courage in the face of German history, firstly, and thus of his courage to come here to Israel to open this historical relation in a novel and radically powerful manner. Dear friends, Naomi and Jonathan, you have the floor and all our attention. 